human truths that he feels like art yeah. communicates and protects and so audience I'm curious what do you think when you see a work like this what is the universal human truth that you're sensing or are you feeling and thinking that you know isn't just personal for you but true for everybody um, go ahead Julie I, mean, I just thought it was a physical balance of like light and dark like balance of like happy emotions and sad emotions, I guess, or like happy things that happen in the world and sad. Um, and like, as you mentioned that, that was like, that she was like, often like a symbol for grief and stuff. I think, um, to contrast that, like, light, like stars and stuff are like a symbol of light, or, um, life. Mm -hmm. And so I think it's like to show the balance of it. Good. Yeah, I like that. I, you point out you point out a specific element of the image that's sort of abstract in some ways, and we can project a lot of our feelings and emotions onto that, and um, have like almost like a kind of a common reaction to it um, that's both both personal and universal. So it offers us a gateway into um, what is uh, true and unchanging about us as human beings. Cool. What about this piece? When you look at this piece, what is universal about it? Yeah, Will. Very like homely, like it, yeah. I, it's like a den, it's comforting. Yeah. yeah. It feels like how the walls are like fall around to me, like, kind of like slanted, like out of mm -hmm. That's so interesting. So Will and Kayla had different reactions to it, but we have a sort of you know, like comfort, but also somewhat of an unsettling feel from yeah. Kayla. Yeah, 
And so, um, you know, as human beings, we have this need for security and safety and comfort in the space of the home, the domestic space is a really important um, symbol of that. And so that's something that we seek, and we seek that to be a constant in our lives, and, uh, but it's not always um, a constant of this right? And any other thoughts about this piece? Okay. And then uh, what about this? Sorry to keep you up there. I'm just, you have such interesting pieces here that you chose, and I'm just thinking um, we have a little bit more time to talk about them. So uh, this last piece, this is kind of like a still life, yeah? You've got a vase with these blue flowers. Um, what is the universal human truth that is communicated through? Something that actually doesn't have any you know, human figure. It's just it's sort of like... Let's go back up. I don't know about like a universal human truth, but whenever I see this one, I always kind of think about like, um, I mean, I feel like with a painting like this, there probably were physical flowers and he was like painting it. So I, I always just wonder, or, like, create a story in my head, like what the flowers were for. Like maybe he bought them or like picked them and it wasn't just for the painting, but like he received them as a gift or he gave them to someone. So that's what I kind of think about. And then like think about how like, Flowers are temporary, like they're often used as a gift. Um, but they're only temporary and like we you know, we can try and like press them and keep them in notebooks or do other me methods to preserve them. But again, they're temporary. So but I was just kinda think about like what those flowers were for mm -hmm. and if it was like something more personal to him. They're they're a very common item that we give as gifts and exchange. And so uh, we do that because they're beautiful, because they're supposed to bring happiness and you know, beauty and joy to people. But then of course that is temporary, as you said. And so that's the, the sadder truth. Uh, we can be moved by beauty, but we also have to realize that beauty like life is fleeting. And so we see the flowers down in the, the some of the flowers in the lower right hand corner kind of like bending over and um, perhaps uh, symbolizing the process of eventual decay, breaking down and decay. So a lot going on here. Right, cool. Thank you very much, Charlotte.